there's a couple different ways to update your uh, warehouse levels. So once you have your vendors or your uh, warehouses set up on your vendors page by you know coming here and making a vendor, or maybe you already have it, selecting warehouse, updating the information, uh, on your products, you're going to want to assign you know, that warehouse or those warehouse to specific products. Uh, for example, coming here, going bulk actions, and assign to warehouse. And you'll pick which one that you've assigned, submit it, and now those that product is tied to that warehouse. Uh, from this point, you can do a couple different things. Either you can come in and go here, update warehouse inventory, and those assigned warehouses will appear, and you can update the quantities and uh, click submit. To update them that way or what you can do is come in here to the settings and go to bulk import export and follow the process of downloading this make sure you watch this tutorial and video it's going to be really really critical because uh, there's a warehouse inventory sheet that you can update so that's going to get you to essentially uh, step uh, the first step it's going to be updated then from that point the data will be synced quote unquote, we don't have an API sync to 3PLs beyond Amazon, but if your warehouse, for example, let's say you create a, a purchase order, then if that PO is going to, for example, everything's built around lead times, right? If that PO is going to one of those warehouses, <clears throat> when it arrives here on May 29th, these units you know, let's say we ordered a thousand units of something, will get automatically added to that warehouse inventory and populated. So uh, there's that's really kind of the way that that works. Or if you're sending something out of the warehouse, you're going to make something called a work order uh, because work orders are for warehouses, purchase orders are for manufacturers. So let's say you had this warehouse and you wanted to ship something out of it and you were sending, you know, for whatever reason, this, and you sent 100 units, this would deduct 100 units from this warehouse inventory. So uh, that's really how everything syncs and, and kind of works together. So you just need to get your data updated. And then from there, as you're making work orders and purchase orders, uh, the data will all sync and kind of uh, have its ebbs and flows, uh, so to speak. So let me know if you struggle. Oh, one last thing. Uh, make sure when you make new vendors, if they are only servicing certain marketplaces, for example, uh, let's say you come in here and it's uh, this warehouse, you'll see warehouse marketplaces. If this doesn't service a certain marketplace. Uh, for example, let's say this was the United Kingdom versus the U.S. or vice versa. You want to toggle off that marketplace so that we know, hey, any inventory in that warehouse cannot go to that marketplace. All right.